Now we're going to discuss the activity one. Word in the world is the Philippines, part one. And our objective, after performing this activity, you should be able to describe the location of the Philippines using latitude and longitude. And our procedure are first, study the image of the globe on the right. Then, get a real globe and identify the parts that are labeled in the image. Be ready to point them out when your teacher asks you. So, identify natin yung mga parts na pinapakita dito sa image sa libro and halapin natin dito sa globe. Dito sa globe, dito sa globe ay pinapakita ang equator, itong buhit na black, then ang sa taas ay ang north pole, then ang sa baba naman ay ang south pole. And procedure 2, after studying the globe and the image on the right, try to define equator in your own words. Give your own definition when your teacher asks. So, ang pinaka-definition pinaka ng equator is the imaginary line circling the earth halfway between north and south poles. So, ito yung north pole and south poles. So, yung nasa gitna nila, ayun ay ang pinatawag na equator. Procedure number three. The northern hemisphere is that part of the world between the north pole and the equator. Show the northern hemisphere on the globe when your teacher asks you. So, kapag tinanong kayo ng teacher mo, ang northern hemisphere, ang northern hemisphere ay yung gitna ng equator then ang north pole. So, dito ba na yung northern hemisphere? Where is the southern hemisphere? Show the southern hemisphere on your globe when your teacher asks you. So, pabalik na lang yun na northern hemisphere. So, yun ay ang gitna ng equator then ang south pole. So, pagkatapos ng procedure natin, sasagot na naman natin yung question. Question 1. Describe the lines of latitude. Describe daw natin yung lines ng latitude based dun sa sinabi ko kanina. Diba yun ay ang pa-horizontal na line sa globe. Next. Show the lines of latitude and the globe when the teachers ask you. So, ituturo nyo lang dito sa globe kung alin yung and procedure number four is study the drawing on the right. It shows the lines of latitude. So, ito yung lines ng latitude. Then, kung may ikahambing natin dito sa globe, ito yung horizontal na lines na makikita natin dito. Ito. And latitude is the imaginary lines on the map or globe that measure distance in degrees north or south of the equator. Latitude lines extend horizontally from east to west on the globe. So east to west, so papunta dito yung line horizontally. Question number three. The starting point for latitude is the equator. The equator is latitude zero degrees. At the North Pole, the latitude is 90 degrees north. At the South Pole, the latitude is also 90 degrees south. Show the following latitude when your teachers call you. 15 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 30 degrees south, and 45 degrees south. So dito, sinasabi ng equator ay ang simula ng latitude na 0 degree. At papunta dito sa taas sa North Pole, ay ang 90 degrees north at sa baba naman ay ang south pole na 90 degrees south. So dito ang hinahanap ay ang 15 degrees north then 60 degrees north. Hahanapin natin dito sa parte dito kung nasaan ang 50 degree and 60 degree. Dito naman sa baba ang hinahanap ay ang 30 degrees south and 45 degrees south. Question number 4. The globe does not show all lines of latitude. If you wish to find 50, 50, 50 degrees north where should you look? So, sa question number 4, sinasabi na ang globo ay hindi pinapakita ang lahat ng line ng latitude. So, kung ikaw ay, so, kung hinahanap, so, dito 
gusto niya hanap ay ang 50 degrees north. Saan mo daw dapat yun hanapin? Sa taas or sa baba? At saan dito? Sa pandemic. Next, study the drawing on the right. It shows the line of long long food. So, kanina ipinakita ay kung ano ang latitude. Ngayon naman, katalakay naman natin ay ang long food. Question number 5. So, dito, kung ang latitude ay horizontally, ang latitude naman ay ang vertical lines na makikita sa globe. Longitude is the imaginary lines on the map or globe that measure distance in degrees east or west of the prime meridian. Longitude lines extend vertically from pole to pole on each so, kung ang sulat nga na sinabi ko, kung ang long latitude ay horizontally, ang longitude naman ay vertical. So, magkabalik tayo. Question number 6. Show the line of longitude on the globe when you get the answer. So, ipakita daw natin dito kung alin yung latitude. Ituturo lang natin. Question number 7. The starting point for longitude is the prime region. The prime region is, lo is at longitude 0 degree. Show the prime region on the globe when you reach So, ang starting point daw po ng longitude na 0 degrees ay ang prime region. At ang prime region ay ang the great circle on Earth's surface passing through the north and south poles, which is considered 0 degrees longitude. Prime region passes through Greenwich, England, and is used as, as a reference point for measuring longitude is and Question number 8. The right of the prime meridian, the longitude is written this way. 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, and so on. To the left of the prime meridian, the longitude is written as 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, and so on. On your globe, find longitude 180 degrees. What does this long, longitude represent? At ang kanan naman daw ng prime meridian ay, ibinabas, ay binabasa sa paraan 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, and so on. So sa kabilang banda, ang kaliwa naman ng, daw ng prime meridian ay binabasa din sa kaliparaan. Pero ay degrees. So 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, and so on. So dito, hahanapin naman daw natin ay ang 180 degrees east and then hahanapin natin kung ano yung nire-represent naman daw natin. Question number 1. Not all lines of longitude are shown on the road. If you, if you want to find 20 degrees west, east, west, where should you look? So in question 9, sinasabi dito na hindi lahat ng lines ng longitude ay makikita natin sa globo. So, kung gusto na daw natin hanapin 20 degrees west, saan daw natin parte ito matatagpuan? Siyempre, matatagpuan natin ito sa part, parte west. Question 10. The location of a place may be described by using latitude and longitude. To the nearest degree, what is the latitude and long, longitude of Manila?
the latitude values have been rounded off to the nearest half So ngayon alam na natin kung paano i-describe ang isang lugar or location nito gamit ang latitude and longitude. And the lines of latitude are also known as parallel. So mas kinara ito pinagtawag na parallel of latitude. At dahil dito, ang latitude or buhit ng latitude are parallel to the equator and to each other. So ang bawat latitude ay, naka, ay nakabase sa equator. And ang parallel means buhit na hindi pwede magtagpo. There are five lines of latitude and may special names po ito. So ngayon, so ngayon naman po ay matatalakay natin ay ang limang lines, different lines of latitude. First ay ang equator. Itong buhit po itin na ito, equator. And 0 degrees po ang equator. Next ay ang Tropic of Cancer, which is 23.5 degrees north. So ang Tropic of Cancer ay dito po natin makikita sa parting taas or north pole. Ito po yun, 23.5 degrees. Next naman ay ang Tropic of Capricorn. So, 23.5 south naman po ito. So, dito yun sa parking baba. Ito naman po ang Tropic of Capricorn. Next na yung Arctic of Circle, which is 66.5 north. So, dito din yun sa parking taas. Then, ito naman ay ang Antarctic Circle, which is 66.5 degree south. Kitab Globe and Pangal Tropic Center in the Tropic of Capricorn trace the two lines of latitude with the red chalk. The part of the wall between the two chalk lines is called the trop tropics. Countries that are located in the zone experience a tropical climate where the annual average temperature is about 18 degrees. Now, find the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle on the globe. Place them with blue chalk between the traffic of center and the Arctic circles in northern temperate zone. Between the traffic of Capricorn and Antarctic circle is the southern temperate zone. Countries in the zones go through four seasons, winters, spring, summer, and autumn. Finally, the areas within the Arctic circle and Antarctic circle are called the polar regions for region C. People who choose to live in those areas have to die with temperatures that never go above 10% it is cold or less round and even during the summer months. It does not feel like summer at all. To sum up, the closer the land is to the equator, the warmer the, warmer the climate, the closer it is, it is to the cold, the colder. Thus, it is clear that there is a relationship between the latitude of, of a place and the climate it experiences. And you will find out why in the next module. Land masses and bodies of water. Using latitude and longitude is not, is not the only way that you can describe the location of a certain area. Another way is, is by identifying the land masses and bodies of water that that are found in that area. So what so what are the land masses and bodies of water that surrounded the Philippines? Do the following activity and get to know surrounding geography.